Listen to Herbert Marshall as The Man Called X. Wherever there is mystery, adventure, intrigue, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find The Man Called X. A wailing wind sweeps the length of the Dashti Margot, the desert of death in Afghanistan, and hurls itself against the camel skin walls of a sheep herder's tent. But the man inside is too intent upon his task to pay attention to the wind, the desolation, or the possible dangers that are lurking outside. This is 37, calling 52 in Kabul. 37, calling 52 in Kabul. Can you hear me? Over. This is 5-2. Go ahead, 3-7. Over. You must make a report to the Bureau in New York at once. Tell them the rumors of great danger to the entire world are true. The only hope of preventing disaster... Margot. That's right, Chief. Here's the report from this mailer. His contact in Kabul. Hmm. You know the assignment Kurgan Bay was on? Sure. Checking on the rumors that have been coming out of Siberia. Yeah. Rumors about a radioactive material called M5. Meant to leave it. A material more potent than uranium. Ken, if those rumors are right, the Russians could stumble on the answer to the H-bomb. That's right. And suppose Russia got on the track of deposits of meant to leave it oil. In Afghanistan. Well, that could mean armed invasion. World War III. Yep. Yeah. Then your guess is that Kurgan Bay trailed Russian agents into the desert and learned they were after deposits of M5 ore? This is one time we can't afford a guess, Chief. We've got to know. Believe me, Mr. X, taking me with you here to Kabul is one of the smartest things you ever did. Oh, thanks, Bigo. <laughs> sure, I know this joint's like a couple of books. Well, so what can I do you for, Mr. X? How would you like to dig up some information about M5? That's a cinch. I'll find out all you want to know about M who? Oh, never mind. See if you can find anyone interested in the Dashti Margot. Anyone who's been on uh, desert expeditions lately. Oh, sure, sure. N nothing to it, Mr. X. <laughs> then uh, meet me here at the Campbell Mart when you're through. But, but, but Mr. X... See you later, Pago. But, but... But I will hear that uh, you're interested in some of these noble beasts of burden. I'm interested in a man by the name of Ismaila. Ismaila? I was told I could find him right here at the Campbell Mart. And who was the low-born one who so informed the Effendi? It uh, could have been a certain Kurgan Bay. This way, Effendi, if you please. Sure. So my message did reach the Bureau in New York. That's right, is there? Now, what can you tell me about Kurgan Bay and what happened to, we... to him in the dusty Margot? No more than what's written in the message to you, Effendi. He didn't mention something called M5 or the names of any strangers from the north? No, Effendi, nothing. Mm. How soon can you get me out to the Dashti Margo? Ismaila has three desert trucks ready. Over there at the far side of the marketplace is where they will be. In two hours' time. Good. I'll meet you there. It will be so. By a day, Effendi. Yeah, till later, Ismaila. 
Hello there, Mac. Greetings and salutations from a fellow American. <laughs> and brother, am I glad to see you. Well, uh, hello. I've been hanging around this lousy home for aged and infirm camels for two days now, waiting for you. I'm Brad Nelson. Yes, my name's Ken Thurston. And what's this about waiting for me, Nelson? Why, you stymied me, Thurston, grabbing off all the available half tracks. It sounds like you were figuring on a trip to the desert. Well, that's where the Afghanistan government expects me to go. I'm an irrigation engineer. Going to be pretty tough on me, though, if I got to make the trip on camelback. Brother. Well, too bad his mailer was a couple of steps ahead of you. Oh, his mail is all right. It's this other character that's got my boiler busting. What character is that? The one you were talking to just now. The Russian's fair-haired boy in Afghanistan. What? Abdul Khan. Abdul Khan? Hey, you didn't know who he is. And you were going out to the desert with him? That's right. Well, there's only one thing I could say about that, Thurston. Brother. No dice, Thurston. The smell is not in. What next? Why don't we just walk in? Man, just like that. It's a cozy little nest. Dirty floor, paper windows, flies. Look over there in the corner. Brother. Yeah. Is Mela? It was. Before somebody practiced a knife throwing on him. Now why? Mm, maybe this is the reason. That little chunk of rock? That's no motive for murder in my book. Wait, wait till I cup it in my hand. Look. So. Now look at it through the crack between my fingers. Hey. Hey, that stuff gives off a little light. Yes. That rock's radioactive. Uh, could be pitch blend. Uh, uranium ore, something like that. Yeah, it could. Couldn't it? Fendi. That is quite right. I am Abdul Khan. But his mailer was my brother. And it is my wish to carry out the mission upon which he was engaged when his soul was taken by Mohammed. Then why didn't you tell me that in the first place? I feared that if the Effendi knew the true circumstances, he would object to this unworthy one accompanying him into the desert. You expect me to believe that story? It would be best if the Effendi does believe. Why? It is I who possess the only half-tracks now present in Kabul. To obtain their services, one must also accept mine. Does the Effendi still desire to visit the desert? Okay, Abdul, we'll go. Oh, hello, Mr. Thurston. Beautiful day, all right, all right. The birds, the bees, the pain. Never mind the weather report. Hmm? Did you get anything? Oh, ha. don't have to worry about anything, Mr. X. This cabujo is absolutely clean. Nobody even heard nothing about any M5. Uh, I am all ready for the journey to Dashi hmm? Margot, Mr. Schmidt Effendi. Go away. I'll talk to you later. But I do not understand. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Don't mention it. If you're out again sometimes, babe. Go away. Well, now, wait a minute, Pagan. If the lady is coming along with us, the least you can do is to show her the, where the baggage will go. Oh, but, but... You... How about the second half track? It's not too crowded there. If her belongings are put carefully away, Sharida will see that you are properly rewarded. Please inform me when we are ready to depart, Zelsh, Mr. Fenn. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, well? Uh, look, Mr. X, I can explain everything. Why bother? Well, well anyway, she, she just wants to get home to her kins and folks and stuff, you know. She belongs to a tribe of wandering desert nomads out there. Uh, just a simple little nomad. Oh, well, sure. Oh. For those manicured nails wearing perfume at $50 an ounce. Well, let's get her baggage over to the half-track. <laughs> You bet, Mr. Rick. Right away. 
Anyway, this couple of suitcases or two won't take up too much room and... Hold it, Pego. Huh? That sound. You hear it? Hey, it's, it's coming from this suitcase. It's a Geiger counter. Do you mean one of those things that tells when you're near uranium or stuff? Yeah. But what's making it click like that way now? This radioactive rock I picked up beside his mailer's body. Oh, but why should Sherita be carrying one of those things out to her relatives? I don't know, Pigo. Unless maybe they live in Moscow. All I could say, Thurston, is you sure got plenty of that there intestinal fortitude. Brother... Why say that, Nelson? Using Abdul Khan, a maybe Russian agent for a guide into the desert, taking along a double-talking doll who carries Geiger Connors around like mad. Oh, man. Why kick, Nelson? I'm taking you along, too. Oh, no, don't tell me you dug up something for my dull, dark, and dirty past. I checked with the Afghanistan government. They're not conducting irrigation surveys in the dusty Margo, and they never heard of you. Man, that sure thickens the mystery, don't it? You know something, Thurston? What? With all of us suspicious characters along, I got a hunch this trip's going to be mighty interesting. Yeah. Mighty interesting. Brother. We'll return to The Man Called X in just a moment. The National Association for Mental Health says mental illness is a coin with two faces. One side is despair. The other side is hope. The hope of the mental patient when he finds himself in friendly, attractive surroundings. The hope of the anxious person when he discovers a mental health clinic. Now remember, the other side of the coin is hope. You can make that hope brighter by cooperating with the groups in your community that are observing Mental Health Week. <laughs> And now, Act Two of The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, with Leon Belasco as Pagan Zellschmidt. <laughs> Rumors out of Siberia. Rumors about M5, a radioactive material that could be a trigger for the H-bomb. And the bureau agent assigned to the case is murdered in the desert of death in Afghanistan. And now, it's up to Ken Thurston to find out why. Stop the desert truck now, it's empty. We have come to the end of our journey. What's so special about this place, Abdul? Those rocky hills a kilometer to the east. It was there that Kurgan Bay was murdered. Ah. Then why not drive on up to them? Those rocks have held their secrets before the time of man. Abdul Khan will not disturb him. He has no wish to join Kurgan Bay or his melee in Falakalapalak, the highest heaven. And you think that's what will happen to anyone who goes up there? Why does not the noble Lefendi discover for himself? Yes, why not? Okay, Pega, you stay here and watch the half-track. Nelson and I will go up into the hills. How do you like that? Drags me all the way out here just to sit. But, but, but why do you want me to do this for, anyway? So you can report back in case Nelson and I don't return. Oh, that's the... You don't return? Oh, no. Jokers, leaving me stranded out here in the middle of nothing. It's dark already. Oof. Zelschnitz, uh. Fendi. Who? 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 Who's that? 
It is only I, darling. Your little Sherida. Oh. Oh, <laughs> for a moment, I was afraid that... Well, well, what are you doing out here, baby? Perhaps you will think it forward of Sherida, but I was so lonesome at the camp without you. Ha, ha, you were, eh? Well, ha, ha, Well, coming over closer, baby, there's no such thing as a long-distance smooching with lover boy Zashmid. Ha, ha, ha. Of course, I would be most honored to come closer. <laughs> We sure came up with huge gobs of nothing this trip, Thurston. Rocks, sand, and a couple of hunks of this old beat-up pottery. Careful, Nelson. Some of that pottery could be older than history. Yeah, that don't make no never mind to me. I'm looking for the future, not the ancient past. You might as well face it, Thurston. Brad Nelson slap happy about money and nothing else. Yeah, I guess you are. Oh, well, it's too late. It's too dark to look any longer tonight. Let's get back to the half that. Thurston! Hey, that's our desert buggy pulling out. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh my head. My head. Oh. oh, come off it, Pagan. Oh. She didn't hit you that hard. Uh, that, that's what you said. Well, it looks like we got one of our enemies pinpointed anyway, Thurston. Maybe. But why else would she give Zellschmidt the works and make off with that half-track? Why not ask her? I will. As soon as we get back to camp, I'm going gonna... to... You were saying, Nelson? Thurston, the camp, it just ain't. Hey, hey, he's right. That's where we left Abdul and Sharida and the trucks and stuff. And there's nothing there. What else did you expect? But, but... Man, some lash-up. Stuck on the desert of death on foot, no food, only the water in our canteens and a sandstorm coming up. Yeah, I guess that's about it, Nelson. So, Sharida, it has been done. Allah has blessed our endeavors and the prize has become ours. You are a fool, Abdul, if you think it is all as simple as that. No other answer can be written, Sherida. We have been waiting in this roadside tea house for over eight hours. By now the sandstorm has blasted the desert clean. Perhaps. Uh, you're going somewhere? To my room. I have been paid. My work here is over. Masa Unheer. Sharida? Thurston Effendi. You weren't the only ones who knew about this Shai Kana. We were just about able to make it. And now that you are here? Maybe you've got some ideas. Look, Effendi. All that has happened is not what it seems. Sherida had no intention of harming you. Uh, you put on a pretty good show. Ah, it was Abdul. Abdul is the one who... Here. You know what this is. A Geiger counter. So what? Take it. The half-track of Abdul is behind the barn. Within, you will find specimens of ancient pottery and statues. Use the Geiger counter upon them. And note well the results. Hmm. This could be a trap, Sharida. Yes, Effendi. It could be. Okay, I'll find out. Are we hanging around this coffee joint anyway, Mr. Rex? Those jokers in there would cut your throat for a rice bowl without me. Oh, shut up. Uh, hey. Hey. Hey, that's one of our hot tracks. Yes. The one Abdul was driving. What are you climbing around up there for? Some interesting pottery specimens here, Pagan. I want to check them. Mr. Rex, that Geiger is counting. Yes. But, but why should that stuff get all hotted up? 
because of some radioactive material hidden inside. Maybe uranium. Maybe M5. Look, Mr. Thurston, why are we monkeying around on top of this rock pile out here in the desert? There's nothing here but some old broken up vases and vases and, and vases. I thought I saw something when Nelson and I were up here earlier. Yeah, here it is. Look here. Underneath this rock. Mr. X, there's a hole in the ground or something. Let's get the rest of these rocks out of the way. Oh, sure, sure. I think we've found what we've been looking for. like that. There's a regular mine tunnel underneath this desert. What's for anyway? Gold? Something a good deal more valuable. Look here. In this tunnel wall. So what's there to see? Nothing but a six-foot strip of black mud or, or something? Look a little closer. You'll see lights in it. Green and blue. Hey, hey, that's right. What is it anyway? The counter may give us the answer. Mr. Red. Yes. Then... Then we found the M5 star. If it isn't it's uranium or radium or... You ain't just woofing, Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Been working pretty fast, haven't you? Man, I had to. Keeping up with you is worse than hanging on the tail of a cyclone. You sure make it tough on a guy. Brother. Boy, <laughs> am I ever glad to see you. Oh, for a minute, I thought maybe you were one of those foreign agents or something. You were right, Pagan. He is. Oh, sure. I knew it all the time. Believe me. He is. What happened, Nelson? Abdul double-crossed you? He wasn't playing footsies when he left us holding that sandstorm out in the desert. Looks like he wanted all the glory for getting those ore samples across the Siberian border. That's right. I found this stuff here, bumped off his mail in Kurgan Bay, and that joker wants to ride the gravy train by himself. Oh, man, you just can't trust the local talent. You should have thought of that sooner, Nelson. Why? You still haven't got any M5 samples for Siberia. They don't know if there's any ore in this desert or not. Oh, what's the diff? They'll know inside a week. You won't make it. Why not? Sharida. <laughs> You're kidding. She's nothing but a cheap little stool pigeon who's out for whatever she can get. You ever hear of counter-espionage? Even a country like Afghanistan has it. Is that right, Sharida? That is quite right. Hey, what the joke? Not the gun, Mr. Nelson. Not today, sister. <laughs> Drop it! Oh, relax, you idiot. It's all over. Uh, it, it, it is? Hey. Hey, it is. Well. I know that, that words are quite inadequate, Mr. Thurston. Particularly after what I did to you in my ignorance. But please know of my gratitude. And the, that gratitude of my countrymen. It's the people like you who deserve the gratitude, Shreda. People we never hear of. Working for their countries and for freedom all over the world. It's because of you that the Nelsons and the others can't win. You'd think they'd have learned that by now. Well, someday, and pretty soon, they'd better. And now, here is our star, Mr. Herbert Marshall. Thanks for being with us. And my thanks to Lucille Meredith, Will Wright, Peter Leeds, Byron Kane, and Stan Waxman. Next week, the seemingly innocent mineral baths in Carlsbad lead Ken straight to the horrors of a slave labor camp in Czechoslovakia. And speaking of horrors, uh, Pagan Zilschmith has to take a bath. <laughs> Leon Belasco, that is. <clears throat> so join us, won't you, when next I return, I hope without a cold, as the man called X. Good night. <laughs> The Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall, is a J. Richard Kennedy production with music by Milton Charles. The story is written by Sidney Marshall. This program is directed by Jack Johnstone. All characters and incidents on this program are fictitious, and any resemblance to actual characters or incidents is purely coincidental. And now, until next week, same time and station, this is Hal Gibney saying goodnight for... The Man Called X.
This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.